Hello and welcome back to On the Workbench. Today we're taking a look at the Fox Alien 440 XE CNC router. Something I picked up recently uh, off Amazon. I've been watching for quite a while trying to find a good deal. Finally found the right deal, at least what I thought was the right deal for me. To will pick up one of these machines and I want to show it to you today. Uh, so here's how it looks uh, all set up here. I'll get to my cart and stand and set up here in a moment. Um, we'll take a look at this coming out of the box because it does ship in a very, very heavy box. So we'll go to that next. Maybe if I go to the side, you can see what it says. Fox Alien. That's right. I picked up a CNC router kit the other day. It arrived. Uh, it's a very large box. It's marked Team Lift and probably weighs about 50 pounds. This is the, f well, let me just go around the box here. And I think it says it. There we go right there. CNC 440 XE. Very excited. The first thing that I notice about this is the fact that the box never indicates which way is up. So I'm just going to guess based on the writing on the box that I'm the right way up. We're going to open this up and see what we've got inside. Now that you've seen it come out of the box, it took probably about 45 minutes for me to completely assemble. It wasn't that hard to assemble. The instructions are actually very straightforward and everything's bagged up very nicely and all the parts are there. And so I added a few accessories to it and I built a stand for it. So let's start with some of the accessories I picked up for this unit. One of the things that's not officially advertised is the dust shoe. Uh, Fox Alien has one on their website, but you can also get this Genmitsu one that has magnetic attaching brushes. It just pops off and is held on with a couple magnets there. And even the shroud, for ease of cleaning and bit change, is all held together by magnets, which is great. Uh, I went with this one because it's got the 300 watt spindle and I can replace it with a laser. I was very pleased with that. And it also has an offline controller unit, which I also really like, so I don't have to plug this into USB. Although I can if I still want to. Because something else I picked up. I also found some rubber bumpers at my local home center and some screws. I went ahead and screwed those in to be able to create some basically an X and Y stops there on both sides. Hopefully you can see that. So that's really nice to help me line up work pieces. And you can see I've got a sample uh, work piece up here and I've got some video Maybe I'll play in the corner here of it cutting. And so then what I obviously did here, let me get a step back, is then I built a cart for it to stand on because I thought that it obviously needed its own stand to work on. And so then below the CNC is a spot where the control box can go. And this does use a SD card. I have manual control from the box there as well as the emergency stop on top. And then I also built in a cabinet so I can store other items from around my garage inside that cabinet. I need to actually add a closing latch to hold it shut. Then this was stylized and painted to kind of match my Master Force red toolbox set. I know they don't sell those in red anymore, but I really like the red. So I stylized this to kind of match my setup there. And then I've found some stainless steel L brackets. I was able to secure this down to the surface. Now this cart was also kind of designed around the premise of me needing to reuse my scrap wood. My wife had commented the other day that I put a lot of wood into my scrap wood pile, but very rarely does the wood came out. So I made a big dent on that by getting, uh, by using a lot of scrap wood. Uh, I also thought it was important to make this heavy to help to minimize vibration uh, caused by the unit. So you can see you get the hold down clamps. I got the dust shoe off here just so you can hopefully see the video I'm going to put in the corner here, where you can attach a quarter, an inch and a quarter inch vacuum hose right on here. 
It'd be nice. What I will probably end up doing is picking up some lightweight tubing. I think Rockler sells some, or maybe I can find some other version that I can just clamp on and then be able to roll off to the side. Coming around to the back side of the cart here, I've got a, a grommet here for the cord bundle to go down. And that just goes down kind of like a snake to the back of the control box there. And then I got the rest of the shelf here that I can use to store my parts and accessories. So I've got a clamp for a uh, Porter Cabler or DeWalt trim router, some double-sided tape. One more thing here I want to show you. Here's the clamp that's intended for the DeWalt trim router. And here is my Porter Cable trim router. This is a perfect fit for it. Obviously tighten it down and it will work just fine. I know there's no lights on the bottom and no variable speed control, but indeed this does fit the Porter cable. So if you've got this router like I do, you can still use this with the Fox Alien. And then I also found this tool organizer at Menards. I was able to put some of the accessories I've accumulated so far into it, including bits. And yes, I've already broken a couple bits. I think that's perhaps an initiation right uh, when you get a CNC machine. The long Genmitsu dust brushes, more router bits, USB cable, uh, the flash drive that came with the software. Indeed, their flash drive was in the setup here. And so this little kit here holds all the parts and accessories that I think I need and hopefully some room for more. Maybe not quite everything and then fits nicely and color coordinates, if you will, with the rest of my setup there. And so I really like the fact that the screen here is touchscreen. I've got full control over here without having to bring a laptop out here to be able to run the CNC. That's completely independent. One of the things I'm gonna be paying attention to is I'm on the lookout now for a backyard fire pit cover to be able to cover this up just to help keep other sawdust out of the motor and the other parts of this one not in use. I don't want any bugs or insects getting into my control box. There is some housing over here meant to dissipate heat, but just to protect those delicate electronics, I want to be able to have a little cover I can pull over. It'd be preferable if it were clear, but I'm probably going to have to settle for something black. And as you can see, here's easy access to the laser or spindle control switch there. And I got to move it a little bit here to get to the PC or USB. There is a USB slot on the back. So all in all, this goes together really easily. And I think for about a thousand bucks, if you pay full price for it, if you find the right deal, you might be able to find a warehouse deal for less than that. Some other special with a rebate that this is a really interesting machine. And the, I picked this up because of the laser capacity, the laser and just the extended capacity of the bed that, so this tabletop here that I made is about 30 inches by 30 inches. Uh, which is about the right, uh, the correct amount of space that you need for the unit. And so most any other toolbox or toolbox carts that you buy aren't going to have enough depth for it. So I made the standalone and on wheels cart because I love everything in my garage to be on wheels so I can move it around and be able to even park cars in the garage. I know some people would disagree with parking cars in the garage, but if my wife and I can't get our cars in the garage, uh, no one's going to be happy. Hopefully you recognize that. So if you got any questions or comments about the CNC machine, leave it down below. Be happy to answer them. Uh, if you want to see me cut something or set something up, again, put it down in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, this works for the variety of materials. And if you got any other great ideas for this machine or how I can improve my cabinet or setup here, please share. We'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching. And as always, have a great day. Bye.